Hi, Justin here with Retail Cloud, and today we're going to show you how to set up and install a CAS LP1000 Deli label printing scale. So after you have the unit unboxed and laid out on the table, you'll want to first install the display pole. To do that, you're going to need to remove the three screws on the back of the unit. One, two, three. Now that you've removed the screws, you can go ahead and slip off the backing and we're ready to install the display, uh, display pole. You'll just need to drop the display pole through this hole with the cables, the connector cables through. There's a small opening on the bottom where you can position these back through. Then we're gonna wanna connect the cables. The cables fit easily um, just so you can't mix, mix them up. They're size specific. Just clip those in there, like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and clip this back together. Just like that. And then we'll just need to screw those three screws back on to finish this part. Now that we have the scale set up, we can go ahead and we wanna connect to a computer so we can download the software um, for the scale to be able to read the items. You're gonna need to plug the scale in for power. You're gonna to wanna to take this cable, which you're gonna to use to connect to your USB port on your computer, and then you're gonna to wanna to plug right here. And it's only gonna plug one way, as you see, so. Once we have the software installed, we can open it up and begin adding items or PLUs to the scale. The most convenient thing to do is to add one or two items onto the scale itself first, and I'll show you why. First, we're gonna start by selecting one, and then the mode to get us for, to enter in the PLU. The enter button will actually be the printer slash asterisk button. When you confirm, under the unit price, it's showing us how many open available items we have. We can add up to 4,000 items. So I will go ahead and hit one to assign the first item, then enter again. Now it's gonna ask me for the item code. This is just a four digit number. Um, so we'll go ahead and make two, six, four, five, and then enter. Now it's gonna ask us for the name. You'll wanna go ahead and enter to actually get you to the area where you can enter in the name. So for here, we'll say bacon. And enter once we have our item name. Now we'll hit enter again. And third for the price, we want to hit enter. And then now it'll let us to let allow us to enter in the price per pound for bacon. We'll just say six nine nine. And then we're gonna hit enter again. Now it's gonna ask us for the life um, that we want to program into the label. So for the bacon, since it's pork, we'll put five days. And then we'll hit enter again. This is where you can enter and tear if you have to add that item in. Since we're doing an item that doesn't have it, we're gonna go ahead and just leave it at zero and hit enter. Um, if you have a group code, this is where you would enter it in as well. So since we don't have a group code for this, we're gonna also hit enter to bypass this. And now we're ready to save our item. And once you've done save the item, you should have a nice label printout for you with the name, the PLU, and the weight. Now that we've added a few, few items to the scale, we're ready to connect the software to the scale. Uh, first, you're gonna wanna go up to here to connect. Um, once we hit that, this will go turn green, letting us know that we are connected to the scale. Next, we're gonna go to upload. Once we have our items, say complete. Okay, so now that we've added a few items to our scale, we can go ahead and prepare a Excel template to make it easier for us to upload other files. So first, we wanna go to upload. And that's gonna bring up the items that we've already added. Hit end right here. Then we're just gonna wanna go over, oh, make sure to check mark these right here. You'll just click right there. It'll show the, the check marks. 
then we're gonna to wanna to go to File, Excel Export. Give your file a name, just call this Test. You wanna save that. Now, we're gonna open our file. Just hit yes here. And you have an exact template. Um, if you already have an existing sheet, you can go ahead and start copying your items. Just like you did on the scale, you'll wanna go ahead and add the, the key number that it's gonna be assigned to. We'll make, we'll have an item code. We'll have a name, we'll call this chicken. Make a, an abbreviation for the name. So chicken, we'll do CK. The unit price, you'll just wanna type in um, without the decimal. So for this one, we'll do 899. You wanna make the, the valid date is the, ex, is the shelf life expiration. So for the chicken, we'll put that at five. And then for tear, group code, and the others, we'll just leave those at zero. Like so repeat the process again on the next step. Again, if you have a list already, you can go ahead and copy and paste. Just important to remember that it needs to be Excel. If you do not have Excel, you, you will not be able to, to upload and, and export the software like this. FS, 11, Shelf life will do five again, zero, zero, zero. Then we're gonna go ahead and save once we've added our items. And now we're gonna wanna go back to our LP work software and we're going to want to go to data import Excel file select the file that we just created open go ahead and set okay to this and now the other items that we've created are here as you can see so now we'll just need to download these to the scale. Now that we've added our items to the sheet, we're gonna need to go ahead and download them onto the scale itself. For this process, you're gonna wanna go ahead and again, select your items by clicking here on the PLU. Then you're gonna wanna go to download, hit download, you wanna start, End. And now we want to go ahead and test to see that it's added the item. So I'm going to select five for chicken. And this is our imaginary chicken. We're going to go ahead hit and hit enter. And now we have our label with our price and our weight and we are set. So now that we've got our deli scale all set up and ready to go, um, I'd just like to point out that everything that we've covered can be found in the owner's manual right here. We've tried to make it as easy and concise to kind of cut down for you. I hope you found this video informative. Please stay tuned for more how-to videos from Retail Cloud. Thank you.